Henry's cat had decided to clean out the loft and put all the old rubbish he found up there into the dustbin. He breathed a great sigh of relief when it was all done and thought he'd spend the rest of the day in the garden asleep. Just as he dozed off, Chris Rabbit dashed up and said, Let's have a race! Let's have a race! Then dashed off again. But almost immediately, Chris Rabbit returned, shouting, Hold on! Hold on! Henry's cat thought for a moment and said, Oh, that's not a very good sort of race. Why don't you have a proper race? What's a proper race, then? Asked Chris. Well, a proper race, said Henry's cat, has lots of people running and swimming and things like that. Yeah! We'll have a proper race with running and swimming and things and lots of prizes and a special prize for rabbits. And he dashed off, leaving Henry's cat wondering what he'd said. In the meantime, Chris was telling everybody there was going to be a big race with lots of prizes and a special prize for rabbits. Oh, what sort of race? Asked Douglas Dog. Running and swimming and everything, said Chris. Quack. I can swim, said Denise Duck. And I can crawl, said Sammy Snail. <laughs> and I can eat, said Pansy Pig. And I can bark. <laughs> said Douglas Dog. And I can leap, said Philip Frog. <sighs> and I can sleep, said the dozy voice of Ted Tortoise. They all decided what they were going to do in the race, and as they were all gathered round talking about it, Henry's cat walked by looking for the dustman to take away his rubbish. And at that moment, Chris Rabbit bounced up and said... Is a judge and he'd give us lots of prizes and we start now and leapt off suddenly everybody started doing their thing as fast as they could like swimming <coughs> eating barking, <coughs> crawling sleeping <coughs> and everything <coughs> henry's cat wasn't quite sure what he was supposed to be <coughs> judging but after an hour or so he decided it was time to stop so he banged on an old bucket. Oh, everybody stop. The race is over. Line up and I can judge you properly, said Henry's cat, and walked up and down in a very proper manner as he judged them. And then he wrote something on a piece of paper and said, It's a draw, with everybody winning. <laughs> oh, and a special prize for Chris Rabbit because it's his birthday this year. Well... This was so exciting because none of them had won a race before. Prizes! Prizes! shouted Chris. Oh, I was just coming to that, said Henry's cat. Just follow me. And they all marched back to Henry's cat's house. And there were prizes already and waiting outside the back door. Oh, no. Henry's cat gave each of them a prize. Even the tortoise, who was still asleep, and as a special prize, Chris Rabbit got a hot water bottle, which Henry's cat explains was useful for keeping carrot juice in when crossing the desert, something Chris had always wanted. Oh, wow. He immediately dashed off, shouting, I won! I won! I won! Henry's cat sighed with relief. It was all over. He sat back in his chair and rocked himself off to sleep, thinking with some satisfaction that although the human race could not solve its problems, his race could.